Okay. Well, I am joined today by my very dear, dear friend, Joyce Pellegrini. I'm so excited to have her on the show. This is a long, long, long time coming. And we've been talking about this for years now. So I'm, I'm glad to have you on the my channel today. Joyce, welcome. Thank you. It's so great to see your smiling face. Yes. Well, let me tell everybody the background, how I know you and why we're doing this, um, because there's a little bit of a story to it. So I have, everyone knows me on my channel, but I've been working with children and adults for a very long time. And I started getting messages uh, a couple of years ago. It was all about frequency, frequency healing, frequency healing, nonstop. The children were telling me, uh, spirit guides were telling me, everyone was telling me about this frequency healing. And I knew about Rife machines, but not that much. And I knew, and I, I knew about med beds, but I really didn't understand where they were going with it. And then it wasn't until about four or five months before I met Joyce, which was a couple of years ago now. Is that correct? A couple of years now? A, a, a year ago, really. A year ago. Okay. A year okay. Ago. A year ago. Yeah. Time is hard right now for us to remember. Yeah. About a couple of months before that, I really started to get involved and I was hearing, you have to get into frequency healing. And I heard biofeedback for the first time. So I was generally starting to research it, but I was putting out into the universe if you want me to learn about this, if this is really something important, you need to bring it to me because I'm not going to go in search of it, you know, because I'm also kind of, you know, lazy when it comes to those things. And so I did a, I did a workshop with Michael Jago, the first one I did in Sarasota uh, in December of last year, uh, actually now the year before last, because it's already oh, January. Right. And Joyce comes right up to me at, at a at a dinner and we introduced we kind of introduced our each other to ourselves to each other and no idea who the other one was, I don't think. And Joyce was like, Oh, I, I said, What do you do for, for work or whatever I said? And she says, Oh, I do biofeedback. I was like, get out of here. <laughs> and I was like, we need to talk. So long story short, we had a long chat and we've been friends ever since. And she has been schooling me on biofeedback quantum healing and how incredible it is. And I can honestly say all this time later that I have seen it myself and I have used it and I have referred a lot of people to Joyce for this type of healing. And so I invited Joyce on the show today because I am excited to announce number one, Joyce is joining the Aramis Creative Learning Team as a practitioner and she will be offering moving forward starting in February uh, biofeedback sessions, not only for children because the adults uh, as well need it so we're gonna she's gonna offer both and we want to have this opportunity today to explain what the technology is how it works and give Joyce an opportunity to, to speak a little bit more about it now I also have the machine I've had it for about I think nine or ten months now close to it getting close to a year and I use the machine all the time I mean when I say all the time it's on probably four or five days a week sometimes 24 hours a day I use it on myself and my children. And I went to Joyce uh, early on in our friendship. And I said, Joyce, I need you to help me with my daughter, Aramis, uh, because of a variety of issues, you know, uh, anger and, and emotional issues um, and some hormonal things and just, you know, things that I needed her to help me with, to help her with sleep and um, uh, emotional stability and balance. And so Joyce has worked on my daughter dozens and dozens of times. And I want to talk about how it's benefited her. But before we get there, Joyce, tell us what it is and how long you've been doing it and, and give us a little bit of a background on, on the quantum biofeedback frequency um, uh, me mechanism. Sure. Well, I was in corporate America in 2001. I was burnt out an insomniac living on sleeping pills. And I fired my doctor because all I did was I slept only two hours when I was still taking Ambien 10 milligrams and I was the most stressed person I knew. So you know how the universe works. I, I'm in Naples at the beach with a friend of mine, Ursula, who's into health and wellness and she's into frequencies and cured her own self of cancer. So that's a whole nother story. But there was a practitioner there and she told me what she did. And she said, I do quantum biofeedback. And I had just gone through, a, I was going through a divorce and I was really in a bad way. So I said, can I do a session on the way home? Because I lived in Tampa Bay and they were two hours away. So I did my first session. 
to the point where I was bawling my eyes out. She didn't know anything about me. And she delivered what exactly what my mindset was about. It had anger, betrayal, abandonment. I mean, the list went on because I was destroyed. I went to Cuba, fell in love, had a Cuban wedding. What was I thinking? And then, of course, it imploded. So I was devastated because I've been a workaholic all my life. I was the most stressed person I knew. Hence, guess what? I became a stress management coach to heal my own life. So I've been doing this for since 2001. When I first got the machine, I had four hours of training because you get certified. There's three levels and I went through all the level. Those are my certificates up on the wall. But I found out my brother was diagnosed with stage four cancer. So I packed up my dog, got my two little. Uh, there, he just had a hiccup. We had um, it has nutrients supplement, hormonal. I mean, the list is vast. And what it does is I put the person's name in, their date of birth, city, state, country, and even their photo. And I, most of my clients are out of the country or in other cities. So it works remotely. And I do in one-on-one -on -one in home. But what it does is it takes your information and it scans through the database at one one hundredth of a second for three minutes. And then it just kicks out what are their acute stressors, meaning what is going on right now. And it could say gallbladder, liver, or heart, emotions. And then I look at chronic. And then it's about bringing the body back to homeostasis, back to balance. And some people come and think, oh, just because they do one session, they're healed. No, it took us years, even if it's a child, it takes them years to create that personality, to create what's going on in their life, whether it's food sensitivities, which kids can act up because they have too much sugar, or there might be eating some foods that their body doesn't like, which then causes inflammation, which we found out with Sherry and Aramis. She has a lot of food sensitivities and she retains it and she's inflamed. She's not fat. It's inflammation. The blood cells are holding on and they're expanding, which then causes pain, which then hits the nerves. So it gets to be really detailed, but I don't cure, I don't treat. I just balance out the energy in their field and then it gives you information. Then I train, whether it's you know adult or the adults with their children, I train you on what is going on and how is it best to serve them so that we can get them to balance. And as children are, you know, I know I was fiery and I was very active and I came into this world pissed off. <laughs> Why? I don't know. We, I have hate. I'm Italian and we have anger running on both sides of my family. So I see that over and over again because we haven't learned how to communicate. We, I had my thyroid taken out when I was 17 years old. Why? I had a goiter. I never spoke up. I was afraid to have a voice at home. So it goes on so many deep levels, but it's like, you know, we got to peel the onion. You got to peel the onion back to see what is the real root cause. And it just doesn't happen just one time. Some people I have miraculous, like their pain went away and they've had it for 13 years. It's just where they're at and what is the stagnant energy within the mind, body, and spirit. Yeah. You know, I I, I love this machine, Joyce, because I, I also have a, a Spooky 2 Rife machine. I had that prior to the one that, that I have through you. And it worked just well. There's the, the First of all, there's not just one mechanism of healing. And I think that's the whole point of quantum. It's about finding one that works well for you. But the reason I like uh, biofeedback is because it really works frequency to it's all it's all about energy. So imagine if I give a Reiki session to somebody um, that's in Australia or anywhere outside of my home, not in my presence. Right. I am able to connect with them through energy. So let's say I'm doing a session on Joyce or a client. I connect with their energy and then I work in the quantum field. That's how I can, that's how Reiki works over a distance. So I can clear past life, energy, traumas, karma. I could do a lot of different things. And not, I'm not saying just me, anybody that does that has the ability to do that. 
But when you, which is fantastic, but when you use this particular machine, uh, the frequencies are so pinpoint accurate that it's like what I do times a million, which is why it's so great to have the ability to, to do both. Because um, what, what I like about this machine is that it works on the emotional uh, mental and physical level. So there's it, there's so many variations. So when when Joyce connects to my daughter, Aramis, it will show her the top stressors she's experiencing, the emotions that she's experiencing in that moment, or it can even go back to birth, uh, it, all the foods that she's eating that's causing an imbalance in her body. So why I want to bring this to Aramis is because number one, part of our plan is to have one of these in every single Aramis center all over the world and children will be getting these sessions for free. The, the, this is something that you should be doing instead of going to your doctor for physical. Uh, this is something that should be done because it gives you way more information. Now I'm not telling people not to go to the doctor. I'm saying that this is the future of, of healing. And so we will have these in every Arama center and Joyce is going to run that program for us and she will train all of the practitioners and we will have this available. But in the meantime, it's all about how can we help as many children and parents as we as we can now. And so I, that's why I work with people all over the world. And Joyce can do the same because this machine works over distance. So she can work with children that are having allergies, that are having uh, pains in their stomach, because, like Aramis, because she gets so emotional. It goes right to the sacral chakra and the solar plexus. And she gets really bad stomach aches, and and the machine helps her tremendously. Skylar, he's he he is very sensitive to EMFs, so he gets bad headaches a lot. I run the machine on him with him within half hour, an hour, completely gone. So th there's so much you can do with these machines. So when I work with clients, I say I think your child would benefit from this because it's taking that it's taking the healing a little bit further and it can help manage dis-ease in the body emotional trauma trapped emotions all sorts of of different things and i i love that about it so joyce tell everybody how the machine actually can connect with somebody some in another state or another country how does that work just like i said i i have a form that they fill out so i get up front their birth name. I don't want their married name because I'm like a stickler for, I want to make sure it connects to that person. I have them send a selfie and there's only one person with that name born on that day in that country, in that city, that state. And when their photo, the photo was a new add-on, which I love because it's hard to explain quantum. Like how does, how can we, you're on the other coast and how can we be on Zoom right now having a conversation and we look exactly like we are or how can I talk to them on WhatsApp? It's using frequency, satellites, it's all quantum physics, Tesla energy, quantum physics. So I know 100% because I've done it on myself for 20 years. And I do not have a doctor and I do not have medical insurance. And I am not lying. I refuse. I do this system or I see a chiropractor. I see a massage therapist. I see acupuncturist. I will go outside to get my own healing because sometimes healer needs a healy. You know, like I, the healer needs a healer. I go to Sherry when I have emotional stuff because it blows me away how she taught me how to cord cut and how you can just let go of that emotion. It's just, there's so much and it's so vast, but it's so accurate. But this is another thing that happens. If there's a family of four, a husband, a wife, and children, and I do the report and we talk about it and they're like, well, that's not me. That's not me. That doesn't resonate. And then I go, wait a minute, who is it? And then they're like, that's my cat. It now has a stomach issue. The mom is worrying about the cat because that always comes up. Yeah. That's my husband. He's so stressed out at work. So he's angry. That's his. It's not mine. And women, we're an empath. We're so intuitive and we take on the world. We carry so much on our shoulders and it shows up. And if, if it's all energy, you can walk in a room and say, ooh, bad juju. Or you can walk in a room and say, ooh, the energy is really great in here. It feels great. I just got chill bumps. So 
it it just is a tool and a mechanism and the biofeedback means it it's given me a measurement and then i i hit the button and it balances the frequency right then and there so people say i see their faces are gray after the session they got rosy cheeks i see that people are like high strung and they're like this looking at the screen and then they <laughs> sit back and they're like yeah how do you feel they're like i feel lighter i don't feel so heavy so it's going to be different for everyone or i worked on patricia she had a pain between her shoulder blades for 13 years, went to the doctors, took drugs, had massage. It just never went away. The first session I did on her, I ran the spine. We balanced it. Was it physical? No, it was mental, emotional because we lodge things. When we, I really believe for me, I am a hundred percent in my brain. I'm Italian. I'm hot blooded and I'm feisty. But my issues are brain and from being on the sleeping pills, I used to be able to remember two numbers out of a seven digit phone number. I could not, I had, my memory was terrible. Now I can remember a seven digit. Why? Because I had to keep working over and over and over again. And when we have so much toxicity in our body with bad water, bad air, bad food, pesticides, we're constantly bombarded with stuff that is not good for, and technology, I don't even want to go there. All the EMFs, these smart homes, I'm so against it because we're bombarding our children at school, mm -hmm. at home, Wi-Fi. And I'm, I keep seeing all this stuff about, you know, 5G and how bad it is. And it's really the truth. It's like, there's got to be checks and measures. But what this system does is it gives us a roadmap of how to change what needs to be addressed and then communication. You know, you have to talk about it and kids feel like they don't have a voice or I know in my household, my dad was a screamer. So it shut us all down and we never got to talk. That's how he was raised. So that's how I was raised. So it's like giving some balance into a family unit because I do animals. I've done a two day old baby that was in intensive care guess what? It wouldn't leave. It, they wouldn't let it out of intensive care because it didn't have an elimination. I did it very subtly. Three hours later, the little baby pooped. The next day, it was out of ICU and got to go home. So I've done children six, eight, anxiety. I had Sherry and from a perfectly fit there was looked like he had a great diet the mother was uber uber protective and did everything for this child so i finally sat back and intuitively it said what when did this happen and what happened to trigger this they talked about it they came back to me on their next session she goes joyce he was hitting the head with the ball you know when you throw the ball and you get hit you're out like when you're playing with the kids he was hit really hard in the head. Then she went to a chiropractor. That was the issue. He did not, and they put him on pre-diabetic meds. And he was sick. He was lethargic. He had no energy. His stomach hurt him. Gone. Yeah. You know, the, the, the issue that I have with a modern medicine is that we don't, there's there's no root cause medicine. So it's all about treating symptoms and not getting down to what, what is actually happening. And because I'm an energy practitioner, I've been doing this for a very long time, 99.999999% of the time, this is starts energetic first, unless there's some sort of, of, of course, if there's a trauma, you hit by car, right. something like that as an accident, but it's all, right. it all starts emotional. And when things get stuck in the body, then they manifest into physical symptoms that become that are acute, but then they become chronic. And so when we have to figure out different ways to treat the energy and trapped emotions within the body, you know, and Reiki's Reiki is an example of that. I love uh, uh, sound bowls is another example of that. There are many different mechanisms uh, yes. and frequency healing biofeedback is, is another one. So there are so many, and, and I'm a big advocate of trying uh, having option, uh, what's the word? Options, you know, well, and, yeah, and what fit? Because not, it's not the same for everybody. Everybody's body is different. So you have to try. I mean, sometimes I can only imagine 
I don't have children, right? So it breaks my heart when I'm with these kids. I mean, I literally had one client that was 15 years old and it's set on the screen. And I, I usually don't read everything because I have to be careful, but it actually said she was having suicidal thoughts. And I literally started crying. I go, honey. And I read it out loud and she goes like this. Her mother was in the room, but I was with the 15 year old. And her mother said, go ahead and tell her. And she was having suicidal thoughts. And I'm like, baby, you're 15 years old. What is so bad? I was so upset. And she opened up and she shared. And I said, you need to hear truth. And it was the teacher. The teacher made her feel this big and she was devastated. And I'm like, oh. I was shocked. And I go, if you don't take care of it, I'm going to that school. <laughs> I go, don't, you don't want me to tell them your auntie Joyce is going to show up. Like it's, it's really a shame, but they don't know how to communicate or they're afraid to communicate. And I think I'm really, because, you know, I just love children and, and animals. Animals just love this too, that, you know, I just have that gift that they open up to me. And as long as the parent is okay, that I work one-on-one -on -one with them or they can be in the room, but the, the children, they they just trust me and I get them to open up and talk and say, what's wrong? Or even if, you know, the parent wants to leave, look, I have problems with my parents. So, you know, it's, it is a thing, but as they get older, they don't, they will, they'll communicate with me, but they won't communicate with the mom yeah. and dad, but then I'm the buffer. I can help and say, no, your parents love you. They trust me. You think they don't know anything. Hey, they were your age, you know? So it's just about having someone that they feel safe, and comfortable with so that they can express themselves. Yeah, absolutely. It's all about feeling safe. And sometimes, uh, oddly enough, a stranger, you know, sometimes you feel more comfortable talking to them than your own family. I've been there. I've been there, absolutely. especially as a, as a young girl. So I want to just point out some, some things that are some, that I'm thinking people are probably asking themselves right now. Okay. Um, so yes, Joyce can do these. Uh, out of state that it's over zoom she does it just like this so uh well, one additional thing is that your child doesn't even necessarily have to be there we work on Aramis sometimes when she's at school she's outside at playing with her friends she's asleep so they don't have to be there just like when I work with families the children aren't always there they're not always present same with Joyce they don't need to be present we can work she can run the session while the parent is present so this is going to be a choice between the Joyce and we'll work with mom and dad or caregiver to to see what's best. Correct. Now, one session is not a cure, and and we want to make sure that we're we're not we don't promise anything. Uh, just like I don't promise anything in my sessions, but this is a life changing experience. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Um, but but just like working with me, it's something that you're going to want to do more than one time. So you'll get a lot out of one session. But we want to be clear that likely it's going to take a couple to see a lot of improvement. And, and so we want to make sure that that's clear as well. Is there anything yeah. else, Joyce, that you want to add that you think people are probably wondering in their mind that we can clear up now so um, we don't have to answer the the emails that come in later <laughs> with all the yeah. Well, all I can tell you is that it, it really works and it's a tool. I mean, my goal in life and meeting Sherry, I saw her, you know, all over, you know, in the last two years on, you know, Beyond Mystic and Nick Vimiamo and Michael Jaco. That's how I saw Sherry. And when I heard her story and me not having children, I literally wanted to be a foster mom and have like 10 children in my house. However, I've been a workaholic and I never had time and I'm never home. So when I saw Sherry and her, her goal in Aramis Collective and what she does, I said that moment, I'm going to meet her. I'm going to work with her. And then I go to an event and she turns on to oh, Sherry died, did man. And I'm like, I was <laughs> shocked. I'm like, she was <laughs> I was so excited. And then I shared what I did and we've been stuck together ever since. So I am really excited that it's a tool that I really believe in my passion and purpose is every household needs it. Whether yeah. you can afford it or not, that's another deal. But I think every mother or father 
or someone of 18 and older that you want to take control of your family's health and well-being, this is a tool that I, and I've seen everything and they all work. Everything I've tried, they all work. But as a practitioner, I have never seen anything that gave you this much detail. And Sherry, you don't even know this. I added the Senso, which is a hypnotherapy program. That's for anti-aging, stress reduction, gravity, weight loss. So I just added that um, onto, which is amazing. I've had amazing results with that as well. As far as relaxation, it, made, it makes me sleep better because I don't really sleep. Uh, still with all the universal energies, what's going on. So it's just, I, I just think it's the wave of the future. Like you, you, we are on the cutting edge, even though I've been doing this 20 years and people told me I've had three heads and my family doesn't believe me. Yeah. Guess what? They're not the, they're, they're the, not the right people. That's why I never felt like I belong there. And after I did a session with Sherry, she ex expressed why I feel the way I do. And it's okay. What I do know is that I will never leave anyone behind. I give you so much care and a detailed report and they're just one word, but I give you the tools and I teach you, if you take this out, take chicken out and beef, watch what happens with your kids' stomachs. Or it gives me, they might need fatty acids. So it, it really gives me the detail but you got to start the process and it just doesn't happen overnight. You know, like if you take a supplement, it might take 30 days before you really feel the effects of it because it's got to get into the system. Yeah. <clears throat> Same thing with biofeedback. But I guarantee everyone that I've done is like, oh, I feel better. I feel lighter. I had the best night's sleep. Like I get after every session, I want a machine. I love this. So it's just, I'm really passionate about it. It's my go-to. It's the only thing I use and I'm going to live well past a hundred. <laughs> if anyone will, you will, Joyce. I, I tell you, this lady, she's a spitfire. Yes, um, but you know what? Joyce is one of my guardian angels. And so I, I, she, I love her very dearly. She's been in my home I, and not many people come into my house. I just want everyone to know I trust this woman with my children and myself and my husband and my mother-in-law, you know, so, you know, we, we've all had sessions and it's a, it's a beautiful. Even Luna, we worked on Luna the dog because her stomach was upset. Yeah, and it, you know, that's animals a good. Animals love it. Animals love it. That's a good point. So when I, well, real quick, I'll share. When I, I, Joyce came over around Thanksgiving and Luna was, I had only had her for like three days. She was about eight, nine weeks, eight weeks old. And I thought she, I was like, oh my God, because I'm an RBT. And of course, my mind always goes to the worst. Uh, I was like, she has parvo because she had started having this really putrid diarrhea. And I know what things look like and the symptoms. And I panicked. And even Joyce had to calm me down. I was like, oh my God, what if she has parvo? I Because we had your dog at, around her and my other dog and my, you know. Right. And, uh, so we, we ran the program on her literally for like 16, 20 hours straight. We did all the stuff and she was completely fine. The next day, it just got better, a little bit better and better and better. And oh my gosh, I was so scared. So it, we did work and it worked wonderfully on Luna and she was totally fine. So regardless of if it was parasite, a parasite, something she ate that was bad. I doubt she had parvo, but the point is right. it, it did help though. And she right. got better way faster. And so that's all. And that, that's really what it's about. You know, it's not a cure. All we're doing is providing the right frequencies back to the body so the body can heal itself. That's what quantum is. That's the motto here. It's not, nothing is a quick fix. So, right. and it's not me. I'm not a doctor. And if some big word comes up and they're like, what's that? I'm like, I don't know. Write it down and look it up. I go, yeah, I've done that. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's just what your body and it could be seven seconds of a frequency in, in a balance. And I go, it's, it's just what your body is needing right now to to reduce the stress. And that's what it's all about. This is a stress reduction tool that helps with mind, body, and spirit. Yes. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself. So if anyone is interested in, in having a session now, again, this is not just for children. Um, this is open for adults as well and pets. Families. So if you, 
the family. So if you book a session through the website, Joyce will send you a um, a form and you let her know who, who she's working on. So it's it's the same for everybody. Um, and, and she'll be offering sessions starting in February on a very limited basis at first. And then and then we'll expand as as we go. Joyce is a busy lady as well. So we're so honored to have you. Um, you. If anyone has any questions, I'll leave um, Joyce's contact information in the description below. But the sessions will be booked through the Aramis Creative Learning Center website. So um, check it out. And thank you, Joyce, for coming on. It was nice You're to welcome. chat with you for a little bit and share. And happy new year. With the world. Huh? Happy new year. I said, and happy new year. Happy new year to you. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.